Okay, so in this video I will show you how 3D Miroscope work. So it's a very nice toy. You see there is like a frog sitting at the top of this object. It's actually a combination of two probably mirror and it looks like the frog is over here. With the stereo eyes, with the two eyes, it's more visible. You can see the real frog sitting at the bottom of the first concave mirror. And then the image is projected over here. Again, the real frog. And the, then if I twist it a little bit, you see the image, which is just at the top of the opening. It's very realistic. Actually, if you see it with two eyes, it's much better because the camera has only one uh, opening and it's not a stereo. So I'll open this toy. So it's a combination of two parabolic mirror. One is cut and sit on the top to have this opening and the other is full. I close them. You see the image appear. It's a real image. And I'll explain how it works. I also put the link below if you buy if you want to buy this toy. So this, I bought it from Amazon and I recommend it. It's a very nice gift. Okay, so here is how it works. Okay, let's start with explanation how the this toy works. First we need to know what is parabolic mirror. Parabolic mirror is a curved mirror. And uh, let's introduce optical axis, which is the symmetry axis with respect to left and the right. The parabolic mirror has the following optical properties. If lights that are parallel to the optical axis and come from infinity are reflected from the mirror, they all are reflected and pass through a point in the optical axis which is called focus. So they all concentrated at the focus. This is the property of par parabolic mirror. Now let us assume we have two identical parabolic mirror. One is sitting on the top of the other and the focus, the distance between the parabolic mirror to the, to the focus is in such a way that it's the distance between the two mirrors. So remember that the focus of this parabolic mirror is over here and the focus of this parabolic mirror is over here. So let's remove white rays and even more cut this top part like in our case and put frog on the bottom over here close to the focus. And remember this this frog is sitting at the focus of the top parabolic mirror. So if we have uh, two rays, let's say from coming from the eye and they are reflected from the top parabolic mirror and after the reflection they will we will be parallel. So they come and reflect from the bottom parabolic mirror and after the reflection they go through the focus. And when they intersect, this is the eye of the frog. So this is the frog image, which is the same size, but it's reverse with it, respect to left to right. It's a real image. It's from the uh, rays, not from their extension, but from the rays, interaction of the rays. So it's a real image. And what we see is a real image of the frog that is sitting at the bottom of the two parabolic mirrors. That's it. That's how it works. If you like, you can subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. And if you want, you can see how this toy is working during the daytime. See how it works. Now it's the microscope during the day. So, to see if it's better. I think during the night was better. It is also during the day it's also good. So just a short video after the explanation to show you the alternative during the day. Nice toy that you can buy from Amazon. I'll put the link below if you want to buy it. And the principle as I said it's uh, based on the two parabolic mirrors. So one is full parabolic mirror and the other that is on the top. It's a parabolic mirror that is cut. The object, in this case the frog, is sitting at the bottom. If I close the two parabolic mirrors, the 
I put it in the center. I close the two parabolic mirrors, then the frog image appear at the, the top. It's a real image. It's very impressing. For a single camera it's difficult to see it, but uh, with the stereo eyes, so with two eyes it's much better feeling. Okay, this, is, this is the parabolic mirror, the frog, and another parabolic mirror that sits on the top. Okay, if you like, then you can subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. Thank you, bye.